Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Holland's class and where today we're going to be doing You Fly Lesson 81 where we're talking about I, R, and you are that makes the er sound. Now, some of you are probably like, er, Mr. Holland, what happened to your arm? I'm resting my shoulder, which also has ER in it by the way, but I'm resting my shoulder, I injured it so I, I didn't break my arm or anything, but I don't want that to be a distraction, I want us to do the lesson. So, we all ready to go? Yeah! All right, so let's go ahead and get started because we're on day one. So we're gonna start with our phonemic awareness. So we're gonna blend first. So I'm going to say the sounds. You're gonna take the sounds and put them together, okay? Ster, 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 Good, now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna segment. So I'll say the word, you repeat the word, and then you are going to break it apart. So, girl. 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 Dirt. 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 Purse. Purse. Okay, and burst. Awesome. Now we're going to move to our visual drill. So tell me, what does this say? Uh, awesome. What about this? Or. or Very good. Or, or. Also says or. 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 Y. Y. Or. I or E. Good. I heard someone say Y, but this doesn't say Y by itself. It only makes Y, I, or E sounds. Okay, what about this? J. How about this? G or J. Or S. Very good. What about? A. I or A. O or A. E or A. U or A. Or U. Can't say that. Okay, cool. Wait. Yep, very good. Okay, now moving on to auditory. So, what letter spelling says er, e -R, or I R, or you are? We're going to talk about that today. What says or? Or O R E. Very good. What says R? A R. Not, not R. R doesn't say R. R just says er, like red. So we're not worried about that. If AR just says R, that's the only one, okay? Cool. Um, last one, what says J? J, 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 or J, J. Very good, okay, moving on. Blending board. This is where I'm going to make the word and you tell me what it says. So the first one is? Spark. Spark. How about this? How about this? Or, or, or. Okay, I need you with us. Okay, how about this? Wait, oops. Port. Part. How about? Ha. Goes back to a. Ah. There's no R, so it goes back to a. Ah. How about? Pa. Past. How about? And what about this? Witness. And what about? Witness. This is lit. What about? Slit. How about? Slim. What about? Slime. And then how about? Slime. How about? What about lace? lace? How about lake? lake? And last but not least, lake. lake. They were working a lot with the A vowel that time. They were showing that when A is with R, it says R. When A is by itself, it says A. And when A has an E, it can say A. So it was doing that a lot. So very good. 
Now, moving on to our last part, we are working with our new sound. So, as I talked about, R by itself says er, like red. But ER, as we've learned in our previous lesson, says er, like, well, actually, well, yeah, let's do that. ER says the same as IR and UR, and you're like, what? How does that make any sense? The vowels are controlled by the R, so there's an er there, but IR, it doesn't go it er, it er, it goes er, it gets blended together. Same with the U, so they all make that same sound. So IR can be in the middle, like girl and bird. It can be at the end, like sir and stir. And when it's at the beginning of the word, it actually makes a different sound, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, you are, says er, like in the middle of a word, like turn or hurt. It can be at the beginning, like earn and urge. And it can be at the end, like fur and blur. Okay, so we're just focused on those. We did ER before, now we're doing IR and UR. So, this word, t, er, not t, uh, er, you don't separate them because the R controls the vowel. That's why it's called R controlled vowel. It does it together, not t, uh, er, t, uh, uh, er. It's t, er, n, or er. Cool, what about this one? D, er, t. Dirty. Actually, it has two syllables in it. Okay, let's read these together. Girl. Bird. Bird. Hurt. Bird. Nurse. Ooh, they try to trick you. Ch er no. That only has three sounds. Wait, that only has three sounds. It has five letters. That's because digraphs, two letters that makes one sound. Our control makes one sound, and then N by itself makes a sound. There's only three sounds there. What about this one? Turtle. 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 Very good. We are all done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Pat on the back. Kiss on your brain. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.